English pool is becoming one of the most popular sports in the country, despite being around for centuries. Southampton has multiple venues across the city, perfect for the casual and the serious player. Southern Sports reporter Jamie Hale travelled to one of the venues, Rocket Ronnie's, to speak with a certain up-and-coming star. Hello, my name is Joe. Uh, I've been playing pool for uh, about three years now. One of the best memories is winning a big money match. Uh, 250 pound a man won that uh, quite convincingly 15-9 so bit of money mate not just for pool but for any sport young children are glued to the TV watching their favorite players compete for Joe it's someone he's only met recently that gives him inspiration to be better oh of course players like yourself Ronnie O'Sullivan um, you know all idols of mine especially you mate especially you Jamie you're too good um, yeah, of course. I mean, in any sport, there's certain people that you um, certain people that you look up to and aspire to be like. Amongst other semi-professional pool players, Joe can be seen as a late bloomer, only beginning to play three years ago. But he possesses the talent and mental toughness of someone who has been playing for 13. I wouldn't say that I've got the best natural talent. I tend to, you know, work very hard at things that I'm I'm interested in. I would say that. Because I've got somewhat of an obsessive personality, I tend to, you know, dedicate myself wholly to, to my passions. And because of that, I tend to see quite quick progress over time. So n nothing different with Paul. I, I dedicated many hours to the game when I first started playing. People around here can attest to the fact that I was, I was rubbish to begin with. But then over a very short period of time, I tended to get a little bit better. For every athlete in the world, an end goal is important. It's something for them to drive and to work towards throughout their career. But for Joe, that's not so much. I, I don't believe in, in end goals, really. I, I, um, I believe very much that we should be you know, proud but, but not satisfied in terms of progress and just to be the best that I can be. Jamie Hale, Solon Sports News. Foggy morning in Cobham, we sat down with Cam and discussed his journey into playing cricket at the A's. But whilst being out of the game, he's been putting in the work in the off-season. The opportunity to play cricket every Saturday is something Cam is looking forward to and he is hopeful that an abundance of improvement is on the horizon. It's key thing. It's just improving all those fundamentals which are key, really key to getting the game down pat. To end up hopefully playing one's cricket on the rookie as his trial for Surrey could be on the cards. Alex Isaacs, Solent Sports News. I'm here at Cobham Avorian Cricket Club with rising star Cam Allenby. How are you, Cam? Good, thank you, mate. Thanks for having us. It's been a pleasure. First and foremost, Cam, can you tell us a bit more about your um, trial at Surrey? Yeah, of course. I mean, it was a great experience, to be fair, to meet all my potential teammates and the potential coaching staff, and it was just really amazing to see what... I was going to affect it definitely. I think like, at the moment I can only really bat, I can't really field or bowl. Um, and sort of obviously as, a, as an all rounder, it's, it's, it's massive to bowl as well. Um, but I think it's just, yeah, like going through the process of going to uni and, and doing the physio and so on. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to bowl this year, I might not be able to. So it obviously takes sort of one part away from my game, but then it means I guess I can work on my batting a bit more. So, so I guess there's a, a positive to it, yeah. So. <laughs> Chetich is coming in and 
Run in the midfield for Liverpool. Surely they're missing oh, the Oh, what a goal! <laughs> there has been a goal! There has been a goal at Norwich! Alex Wirth, finally! Tell me about it. What's happened here? What an absolutely fantastic goal I've just seen. Matt Owens whips in the corner. It's cleared out by the Birmingham defenders. It's, fall, it's fallen to Marcelo Nunes, who on the volley smashes it into the top left corner. That is probably the best goal I have seen all all season it's 1-0 to Norwich they're allow they're they're pressing up on Birmingham oh, and there could be a chance here with Solis oh it's a brilliant goal there he is Christos Solis picks up the ball on the bottom left uh, on just outside the, the left edge of the box he cuts inside and he places it into the bottom right corner of the net, just past John Ruddy. A fantastic goal to... <laughs>